welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I'm bringing back the OG Instant Pot series with a little bit of a twist. We are gonna go clean eating in our Instant Pot. I am so excited to share tonight's dinner with you. We have a healthy version of mac and cheese with hamburger, so kind of like the healthy adult version of Hamburger Helper. I can't wait to share this with you because this dinner was delicious. You get a ton, a ton of food for the Smart Points. We paired it with the veggie and it was absolutely, seriously phenomenal. So good and filling and satisfying. Super family friendly. So if you want to see a spin on my Instant Pot series and a healthy version of Hamburger Helper, stay tuned. <music> tonight's fun, new and exciting clean eating Instant Pot recipe, we are going to be making healthy hamburger mac and cheese. So this is a healthy spin-off of Hamburger Helper, which I'm excited for because hello, mac and cheese and hamburger, yes please. So let me show you what's in our dinner. I'll show you the cookbook that I pulled this recipe out of and we'll jump into making tonight's Instant Pot dinner. This is the cookbook that I got this recipe out of. If you follow my channel, you know I've used this cookbook a ton. This is the Instant Loss Eat Real Food Lose Weight from Brittany Williams. She's lost over 125 pounds. She has fantastic recipes. A lot of them are in the Instant Pot, but you can always make this on the stove if you don't have an Instant Pot. Highly, highly recommend this cookbook. I'll link it down below for you guys. I just bought it off of Amazon. I love it. You're also going to need three cups of water, some minced garlic, nutritional yeast, macaroni. I'm gonna be using the new and improved Fiber Gourmet Light Elbows. You guys, if Fiber Gourmet couldn't have gotten any better, they did. So now their pasta is two ounces for two smart points instead of two ounces for three smart points. It's 100 calories per serving. There's 25 grams of fiber, only 17 net carbs compared to 41 in traditional pasta, and there's seven grams of protein per serving. It tastes better than regular pasta. It has great texture, flavor. It holds up really well to cooking and it has 50% less calories. And literally you guys, a full serving of pasta, two smart points. That's it. My husband loves this pasta. It's all we buy. Absolutely all we buy. And it isn't, it's about the same price as a good pasta at your local grocery store. I do buy mine off of the Nettrition website. I'm going to link Nettrition down below for you guys, but seriously, highly recommend Fiber Gourmet. You can't get a lower point pasta that tastes as delicious as this is. So again, I'll link that down below as well. We're gonna be doing the elbows, arrowroot powder, which is a thickener. You'll also need some garlic powder, salt and pepper, an onion, mushrooms, and a bell pepper. Now I did modify the recipe a little bit. I removed the carrot and I'm gonna add in the mushroom and the bell pepper. And I think I said this, but a pound of 93% ground beef. So, oh, 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 and the star of the show, your Instant Pot. So let's start tonight's dinner. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and chop up our bell pepper, our onion, and our mushrooms. And then all we have to do is cook everything in the Instant Pot so it's a one pan dinner, which is Awesome. So let's start chopping so we can start cooking. Deep in, we're alive, living life underwater. Let's spend all we've got getting buzzed. You pretend you're a god, I believe I'm a soldier. All right, once our veggies are chopped, we're gonna go ahead and hit the saute button. On our Instant Pot, we're gonna let this get nice and warm, and then we are going to add a little cooking spray and all these yummy veggies and get those sauteing. Once your Instant Pot is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and spray some nonstick cooking spray on the bottom, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our veggies. So I have mushrooms, onions, bell peppers. We're gonna go ahead and add all of those to the Instant Pot and we're gonna let those saute down for about three minutes or so. This cooks it so fast, so we just want it until the veggies are nice and soft. Once everything's begun to soften, we're gonna go ahead and add in our pound of ground beef. 
And then we're also going to add in some minced garlic. And I'm just going to put just a big scoop of it. So about that in there. And we're gonna give this a stir and we're gonna let the ground beef brown along with the mushrooms, the onions, and the pepper. And while this is browning, we're gonna go ahead and make our cheese sauce. So to make the cheese sauce, you're going to need a pretty high powered blender. So I'm using my Ninja. To my Ninja, I'm going to add three cups of water. And again, this is what is going to make that yummy cheese sauce, but we're using nutritional yeast in place of cheese. You guys, it's so good. Speaking of nutritional yeast, I'm going to add one quarter cup. And then I decided to go ahead and add in the carrots. And the reasoning for that is because I think it helps thicken the sauce and gives it a little bit of a sweetness that you get from those cheese sauces, like on Hamburger Helper. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And lastly, we're going to add in just a little bit of garlic powder to the mix. And then we're going to turn this on and we're going to let this blend until this is smooth. And here is the cheese sauce or the liquid of the cheese sauce. We are going to add the thickener, the arrowroot, and it'll get it nice and thick. So our hamburger is coming along nicely. It's just about done. Once your hamburger is cooked all the way through, this actually is looking really, really good. We're gonna go ahead and add the liquid from our blender. I know it doesn't look that pretty. I mean, it is pretty, it's a pretty orange, but we're gonna go ahead and add that. Make sure you scoop everything out because it does tend to settle to the bottom of the blender as it sits there. And give that just kind of a quick stir. Make sure that everything is mixed in. And then you're gonna go ahead and add your package of your pasta. Give that another quick stir. And then we're going to go ahead and turn off our Instant Pot and we're gonna be ready to cook this down. It only takes six minutes to cook pasta in the Instant Pot. Pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on to manual and turn the time down to six minutes. We'll pop our lid on and we'll get this cooking. Also going to have some of this organic California blend. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave right as our pasta is finishing. And the last step once this is done is to add in that arrowroot powder, get it nice and thick. And we have mac and cheese, hamburger helper, adult style. All right, our timer went off. I'm gonna scoot you back here and we're gonna quick release until all the steam is released, pop the lid off, add in our arrowroot powder, and you guys, dinner is ready. All right, there she is. Wow, that looks so good, you guys. Look at that, yum. Everything is cooked absolutely perfectly. So the very last step is we're gonna go ahead Yum, look at this, this looks so delicious. My camera battery died, sorry for the abrupt ending of the last clip, but this looks amazing. It is hot, hot, hot. I'm gonna go ahead and get this plated up and I'll be back to give you the smart points, show you my dinner, but this smells and looks so good. So here is tonight's dinner. This is a ton. This recipe only makes four servings, so look at all of that. Oh my gosh, yum, yum, I'm hungry, so I'm excited. So four servings is seven smart points on both the blue and the green plan, and that is using the fiber gourmet pasta, and it is four smart points on purple if you use a zero point pasta, otherwise it's seven points on all plans with traditional pasta. And then of course my veggies are zero. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. You guys, look at this. This is so yummy for seven smart points. My dinner? seven points. Thank you for joining me on today's Instant Pot video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of a healthy spin on my old Instant Pot series with even a healthier, satisfying version of Hamburger Helper. How amazing is that in the Instant Pot? If you don't have an Instant Pot, no fear, you could cook this on your stove, but this recipe was absolutely delicious. My husband and myself loved it. He even made the comment that if we had kids, they would sure love this recipe. I would recommend maybe pairing it with corn as a veggie because how good would it be to mix the corn in with the noodles and the meat? Oh, 
so good. This recipe will be on my website. The link for my website is down in the description box below, as well as the link to head on over, join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. Also, if you're new, I'd like for you to stick around, join my YouTube friends and family. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button and the bell, just so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I plan on doing some healthy spin on the air fryer as well, and some more Instant Pot recipes, lots of recipes coming your way so definitely subscribe and turn your bell on give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this instant pot video and leave your comments down below let me know how you guys are doing and if you're going to make this for your family thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys